Big thanks to 3D Printing Systems for bringing me out to Oztech in Melbourne this year. This is the Emblazer 2 by Darkly Labs, the same team responsible for the hugely successful Emblazer laser cutting and engraving kit which launched on Kickstarter in 2014. As someone who's worked with large CO2 laser systems for many years, the Emblazer 2 is definitely a different, smaller beast and is built like an absolute tank, with extruded aluminium profiles and fiber reinforced polycarbonate plastic, plus a custom spec top panel, making it safe to watch the laser in operation. Although diode lasers can't reach the same level of power as CO2 laser systems, the focus here is on safety and usability. The system has a cutting volume of 500 by 300 millimeters, and the 5 watt diode can engrave almost any material, as well as cut card, thin wood, and colored acrylics. It also has a motorized height adjust of up to 50 millimeters, which should allow for a wide variety of objects to be engraved, as well as funky tricks such as 3D engraving in future. The laser dot size is roughly 0.1 millimeters, and they've even gone as far to engineer a custom beam reshaper to squeeze as much power as possible from that laser diode. Like other laser cutters, don't even think about laser cutting PVC or other toxic plastics. The Darkly Labs team are looking to add on a chlorine sensor to detect those kinds of accidents, and they've already begun populating a safe materials list on their website. As with all laser cutting systems, good ventilation and filtration is a must, and although the Emblazer 2 can be purchased with an activated charcoal and HEPA filtration unit, I would personally still prefer to vent externally, especially in a classroom environment. Safety and ease of use are clearly priority, with an undefeatable resistance coated sensor on the top panel, which instantly kills the laser power if opened. It also has a temperature sensor in the event of the material being cut catching fire. The head itself will park and the exhaust fan will be killed to suppress the flame. The machine uses a 32-bit control board and is actually running Smoothieware and is controlled with open source LaserWeb software. The Darkly Labs team are working on improving the usability of LaserWeb, including an internal camera to assist in aligning images onto objects to be engraved, something they're working on for release. With a pre-order price of $3,295 plus GST in Australia, the Emblazer 2 is certainly not a cheap product. But with its robust design and focus on ease of use and safety, I'm sure we'll be seeing it taken up by many schools and educational institutions, as well as professionals looking for a compact, reliable and safe laser cutting system. For more information on the Emblazer 2, visit the link in the video description and be sure to subscribe for my experiences using the Emblazer 2 when I test it out in a future video. Thanks for watching.